So we got the Hurricane Ryan Hardy with us here post game after game two. Ryan, what has surprised you most, if anything, about this series? Yeah, I, I don't know. Surprised? I think Fargo's a great team. Uh, they did a, had a great game plan yesterday, especially, um, and uh, you know they play hard. They got a lot of good players, and there's a reason you know that they're in the Clark Cup final. So, I think for us, uh, we knew this was going to be a great series, probably a long series. Um, credit to them to come in here last night and uh, take the first game, and then you know real happy with the guy the way our guys responded tonight, and uh, look forward to Game Three. I was just about to ask you that. I mean, responding here at this game at home ice, how much does that speak volumes with your club? Yeah, I think these kids and these coaches have been doing this all season long. You know, it seems like every time uh, their backs are against the wall, they, they find a way to, to win a hockey game. And I think last night, uh, you know, scores 3 nothing. It was the first time. Red Summer is first time in three years we got shut out. Um, but we had a lot of chances. We missed some empty nets. We had some looks. So we didn't feel as bad about it, uh, maybe as the score uh, said. And then, uh, you know, just really liked our effort. Obviously, goal from Adam Fantilli early uh, set the tone. Uh, tough bounce on their goal, you know, off the skate. A great response from Adam Robbins and those guys. And, and I thought when we had to shut it down, I mean, credit to the PK, they've gotten better all year long. And that's a long stretch of six on four at the end uh, to, to seal the victory. For your team heading into Fargo, I mean, what are you going to say to the boys? And I mean, how geared up is the squad? Obviously, now the series even going to Fargo 1 1. Yeah, I think it's a message from us never really changes. I think just take tomorrow to rest your body, come back on Monday, and, and let's get better. Um, you know, it's going to be a great experience for our guys. Uh, we haven't been in too many uh, arenas this year uh, full of fans, uh, so it's going to be packed. It's going to be loud, and uh, there's not going to be a lot of Chicago support. So I think that'll be an exciting atmosphere for our guys to play. And uh, I think we just have to build, build on today, uh, build this week, and uh, play our best game in game three uh, and, and put ourselves in the brink of this thing. Lastly, just a shot in the dark, but is there any other transaction news or any other news that you need to go over? No, nothing really to report. Just uh, uh, we got the draft coming up in a couple weeks, uh, so that'll take place. I think it's Wednesday and Thursday uh, of not this week, but next week. Uh, so getting ready for that. Noel and the staff have, have done a good job preparing for that. And, um, uh, you know, we'll just try to do what we do in the draft and, and keep this thing rolling.